Every person has the power to make others happy. Some do it simply by entering a room. Others by leaving the room. Some individuals leave trails of gloom. Others trails of joy. Some leave trails of hate and bitterness. Others trails of love and harmony. Some leave trails of cynicism and pessimism. Others trails of faith and optimism. Some leave trails of criticism and resignation. Others trails of gratitude and hope. What kind of trails do you leave? Before you speak, listen. Before you write, think. Before you spend, earn. Before you invest, investigate. Before you criticize, wait. Before you pray, forgive. Before you quit, try. Before you retire, save. Before you die, give. Another fresh new year is here. Another year to live, to banish worry, doubt and fear, to love and laugh and give. This bright new year is given me to live each day with zest, to daily grow and try to be my highest and my best. I have the opportunity once more to right some wrongs, to pray for peace, to plant a tree and sing more joyful songs. To love is to risk appearing a fool, to weep is to risk appearing sentimental. To reach out to another is to risk involvement. To expose feelings is to risk exposing your true self. To place your ideas and dreams before a crowd is to risk their loss. To love is to risk not being loved in return. To hope is to risk despair. To try is to risk failure. But risk must be taken because the greatest hazard in life is to risk nothing. The person who risks nothing does nothing, has nothing, is nothing. He may avoid suffering and sorrow, but he cannot learn, feel, change grow or live. Chained by his servitude, he is a slave who has forfeited all freedom. Only a person who risks is free. Today can be a healthy, unusual day for you and for others. If you take time to give someone a smile, to express a word of kindness, to lend a helping hand to someone in need, to write a note of gratitude, to give a word of encouragement to someone who is temporarily overcome with problems, to share a portion of your material possessions with others. The more generous we are, the more joyous we become, the more cooperative we are, the more valuable we become, the more enthusiastic we are, 
the more productive we become. The more serving we are, the more prosperous we become. The experienced mountain climber is not intimidated by a mountain. He is inspired by it. The persistent winner is not discouraged by a problem. He is challenged by it. Mountains are created to be conquered. Adversities are designed to be defeated. Problems are sent to be solved. It is better to master one mountain than a thousand foothills. Each of us will one day be judged by our standard of life, not by our standard of living, by our measure of giving, not by our measure of wealth, by our simple goodness, not by our seeming greatness.